sunrise for me. This one's quite special. I'm stood on a little hill overlooking Corfe Castle, waiting for the sunrise, obviously. It's a little bit hazy and about 20 minutes from sunrise, but this gives you an idea of what I'm looking at. Corfe Castle nestled down there in the valley. I've got high hopes for this one, but we'll, uh, we'll wait and see what happens. So I'm just trying to decide where to set up. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking at um, an app on my phone, Photo Pills, which is telling me roughly where the sun is going to rise. And where I am at the moment, it's gonna rise, I think, way too far to the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down the hill this way a little bit until the location of the sun is a little bit more favourable, lines up better with the cast of film, loading the film back on the camera. Got to press record. <laughs> oh well. Um, it's starting to look really juicy over there now. The, um, the sun is kind of just poking through the back. Um, maybe you can see what I'm seeing, but it is, it is looking pretty special. So setup wise, got the good old Hasselblad again. I've got Kodak Ektar in the back, fresh roll. Um, I've got the 150 lens on, but at the moment it's just not quite right. I think I'm going to try it with the 80. already taken a, a shot with the 80 but but now I've put the 150 on to try and get a closer oh and there just goes the Sun now just peeking over the top oh my god that is amazing um, yeah so I've put the uh, I've put the 150 on to try and get a close-up of, uh, of what's going on here and I cannot believe that that's just unbelievable yeah, Wow I've got mirror lock up uh, and dark slides out. The sun literally just poked up over the top as we were talking. So here we go. I'm going to take the image. Three, two, one. back on to try and get a wider shot so here we go mirror lock up got the uh, manual release sun just poking over the top uh, settings are uh, f16 at an eighth of a second yeah all good and here we go take another image Further down the hill, and 
course, because of the perspective, the sun's disappeared behind the hill again. So I've maybe walked oh, no more than 15 yards and I'm getting a second sunrise. <laughs> second sunrise. So, a proper interesting shot here. Um, come down the hill far enough to get the sun rising through one of the windows, and you can see what I mean there. So, here we go. I'm doing mirror lock up. And let's take this picture. There we go. I like that one. Not as much interest in the sky though. I think the pictures earlier in the morning um, with the sun just poking through perhaps gave the best colours. But uh, but yeah, we'll see. Right, I'm going to walk up to the top of the hill see if I can find where I left my bag. <laughs> Sun's well and truly up there behind me now, uh, over the top of the castle. Um, but, but beautiful, um, and that getting the uh, getting the sun rising right through the middle of the uh, of the of the window in the castle was was just amazing. And and then getting two or three sunsets, or two or three sun rises um, by by walking down the hill a bit. <laughs> that just added an extra bit to it. Anyway, I've got one more shot um, that I want to take, which which is basically what, what you're seeing in front of me now. Let me turn the camera around. So, um, obviously the sun's quite high in the sky, um, but there's there's a bit of haze, and that's that's kind of catching a bit of colour. Um, so I've got the 150 on, um, so getting getting nice and close into the castle um, with, with the sun in the top right corner. Um, yeah, again, another nice image. I think I think quite, 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 quite minimalist. I think when you look in the, when you look in the finder, um, but but yeah. So kind of where I am at the moment, um, the castle is below the, um, the, the the hill in the background. So you've got you've got kind of separation of um, of sky from. Um, from from the castle, there's no there's no clutter, there's no um, so the castle doesn't cross the skyline, which kind of breaks up the symmetry in the picture. Um, but yeah, this one should look nice. I really like for you to see what's what's in there, but it it just I don't know. Maybe you'll get it anyway. So um, yeah, usual mirror lock up. We are on uh, F16 at 30th of a second. Bit of a problem. The batteries have just run out in my light meter, so I'm so I'm kind of guessing here. Um, but I think it'll be okay. So yeah, uh, dark slides out, mirror lock up, and let's take the last image of the day. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Great view from here. I mean, anybody wants to come for a Corf Castle walk, I would highly recommend this little hill at the back. Um, so, so over there we've got um, Pool Harbour, Brown Sea Island, and then uh, as you swing round, we've obviously got Corf Castle, and then the village of Corf there, and then out this way, you're looking all the way down the Dorset coast towards. Dirtle Door, Chesil Beach, all of those kind of things. It's a beautiful area, absolutely stunning.
and at uh, what time is it? Ten past seven in the morning. It's uh, yeah, so still and peaceful. That is me. I'm going to call it for the day. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, so if you've liked this uh, little uh, video, would appreciate um, clicking like and uh, subscribe. Um, and yeah, until the next time, see you later.